right guys another scrapbook video for you today um today i am scrapping a picture of my cat yes yes i am so i have said before in previous videos that i am not really a user of collections i like i am a stash user i generally don't buy much from collections just the little bits and pieces that i like however the my mind's eye meow collection happened and i bought a lot of it and so i was going out of my comfort zone and using stuff that was all from one collection which i actually found really hard work and i will confess now i did not succeed in my little goal of using only from one collection i used something from doodlebug as well so oops but oh well so anyway i picked out a couple of um the papers from the 6x6 pad to use as like the background for the picture itself that picture of my cat is one i took quite a while ago actually it's got to be coming on two years it's been my phone background for forever but um i just caught him yawning on the garden table and i just i just love that picture of him so 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 much so yes as i spent an awful lot of time fiddling around in this video so i have cut an awful lot of that out because yes as i said doing a collection is out of my comfort zone and it just just did so much fiddling around like hours and hours and hours or maybe not quite but yeah close enough so anyway i decided it was about time to um stick something down i know for you it's very early on in the video but for me this is like a good half an hour in that's how hard i find it to use a collection but yes so that pattern there the colors aren't really my thing but they do work with with the collection as they're supposed to do and then i put the meow one down because even though he's actually yawning in that photo it also can look like he's going meow so that's why i chose the meow one and then i went through the journal cards that come with the collection to find a couple that i thought would go nicely so i chose that fun sort of scattered polka dot type effect one and i chose that one as well the life is perfect i'm not gonna purr for you that 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 would be weird um so yeah carried carried on fiddling around i don't know what to say there was probably even more cut out of that section i just really really struggle and now come in the bits i don't actually use these trees just so you know but those are from that doodle bug is it doodle bug designs i can't remember it's called like kitten or kitten smitten or something like that but as you can see there i also have the ephemera pack from the meow range as well and wanted to use a bunch of stuff from that a lot of the ones are like monday tuesday wednesday and i so those will be better for journaling so i was just keeping those aside for another occasion um so that's the doodle bug one the uh there you go yes the kitten one anyway sorry and um there you go that's where i got my title from the catitude because I think the picture as well reflects a little bit of catitude. I think I was trying to call him in or something and he was just like, nah, I don't want to. So yes, catitude. Plus my cat is the epitome of catitude. He has got a serious, serious attitude problem. But yes, so I think at this point I finally decided to stick some stuff down. I mean, I had stuck down the six by sixes, but you, you know what I mean? Yeah, with ephemera and whatnot. So yes, I don't... I don't know how much I've cut out. I'm not sure. I edited this, edited, did, did, I can't say that word in the past couple of videos. I just can't say the word edited. Oh, there I did it. Um, so I'm not sure how much I've cut out. So if there's lots and lots of me sticking, um, then yeah, I'm sorry. Sorry about that. You see me using my beloved Prit stick, which I will, will defend until the very end. There is a child crying out in the neighbor's garden. So I apologize if you hear that. It is a bank holiday today and they are having a barbecue and the smell is actually killing me a little bit because they are from an eastern european country and they cook the most delicious foods and the smell is just ah oh. but um yeah let's go back to the scrapbook spread and the thing that we're actually talking about right now so yes putting down my title with some prit stick hey prit stick haters <laughs> to you i don't know why i'm so defensive over prit stick it's just it's an obsession of mine is that all my ephemera down by this point i really hope it is oh apparently it's not i'm going back in oh dear what am i looking for oh i thought maybe i should have put that black ball of wool down or yarn for people across the pond but um no i stuck with the blue i thought lots of colors would be fun oh no i'm doing something different woohoo so i am just dabbing some ink around the edges just to give it a 
of an effect. The word of which I've forgotten. Just for funsies, it looks good, okay? Um, I don't have any proper ink blending tools like the Ranger ink ones, because I'm cheap. Is That's the only only reason for that. Um, but I, so I use a, a makeup sponge. I, you can buy like um, a pack of 10 for a pound from Poundland. So that's what I use. Makeup sponges gets the job done just fine. I mean, sometimes that you can get like the little angle because they're triangular sponges. I admit they're probably not as good as the proper ink blending tools, but as I said, I'm cheap. So yes, I just did that around various places, only did it on the uh, left hand side because of reasons. I'm sure there were some. Something about the picture and the shadow being on the on the on the left and something really clever and really proper scrapbooky like that. Not just because I felt like it, obviously. Like there was a reason, obviously. Anywho, um I couldn't find any any like embellishment type enamel dotty things that I wanted to use. And then I remember have remember, remembered I had this pack of um 3D cat stickers, which are kind of made of the same enamel dot kind of material. Um, so I decided to use those as well because I haven't really used them because I don't use 3D stickers in planning or anything. So yeah, I thought those were kind of a fun thing to use instead of enamel dots. So I dotted a couple of those around. Then some of those little sort of star shapes from the, the uh, 6x12 sticker sheet. Look, I'm using something from the collection. Woohoo, go me. Um, then what did I do? I'll just put a little green heart up there. Just... Just cause, just cause. Then I went round that title with a black pilot G2 just to help it pop out a little bit more. And as there's quite a lot of black on the layout as well, I thought it would just just help it pop. Yeah, that, that's my, my reasoning and I'm happy with how it looks. So I sat and looked at it for a minute, just figuring out what else I needed to do because it needed something. Just something. So where have I gone? I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, I found a little green paw. Because there's green all up at the top there, but not much bright green down the bottom from that um, kitten, smitten, whatever it's called, if I'm a pack. So, oh, and then I wanted a little black cat face peeking out from that journal card just because I thought it was cute. So, yes, I spent ages and ages and ages and ages figuring out where to put that little green paw. I have actually cut out quite a lot, but um, yes, you, you get the idea. Where do I put the green paw? But I decided to put it there with a, what's it? a glue dot so it would be 3d so anyway yes there it is my little cat layout i am quite happy with this and it was a little bit difficult to use a collection but i think i think i just about got away with it so thanks for watching everyone and i will see you in my next video bye bye, -bye.